Welcome back, Lara. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. No oh, good. Nice. <laughs> um, um, I've always said this is one of my favorite questions um, because people have given me obvious answers, but also some amazing answers. So we've all been influenced over time. Sometimes it's a second, sometimes it's over a lifetime. Could you share with us two or three people that have been influential in your life? Um, I know this is going to be trite, but my parents, because my, um, uh, my, the daughter of two academic scientists, my mom was a pioneer. She has a PhD in biochemistry that she got in 1970 and taught biochemistry to dental students. And my father was an academic doctor who taught molecular biology. Um, my father was profoundly, and, and so having a role model who worked um, in the, my mom was really important because I always grew up thinking I would work. Um, and she also did it in biochemistry, <laughs> which is kind of amazing. Um, yeah, and, is she like a hidden figure? No, she's not. I, no, but she was working on like things that I don't understand. Crystallography at Argonne. I mean, <laughs> sort of things that I, you know, very little about. Um, awesome. And um, and my dad, you know, it's funny. My my dad had two girls, and I'm not sure he would have been as um, profoundly feminist as he was if he hadn't. But because he did, um, he was incredibly encouraging. I get my sister remembers this vividly. We were in a store, and I had seen there was a toy I wanted it was a there was a nurse's kit and my father was like absolutely not he said here's the if you're gonna have something here's the doctor's kit now nurses do really great things so it's not a, but he was just like no he goes if you're gonna go into medicine you're gonna be a physician and it. um <laughs> you know and I must have been like four right so um or, or five right so um it's I think that's you know you know, profoundly important, you know, and my dad was so thoughtful, you know, when I was going into high school, he's like, you need to do debate, you need to learn how to speak in public, that is going to be a very important thing for you, it's important for everyone, um, um, and the fact, um, I'm very grateful, he wanted to make sure that my sister and I knew how to throw a ball, so um, he's like, there is no reason for you to throw a ball like this, you know, and so um, uh, we hated it. We complained. And I am so grateful. I'm sorry he's no longer alive for me to tell him how grateful my tennis game is to the fact that he taught me how to throw a ball. So um, uh, uh, that awesome. was totally true. Well, you know, he he put it out there. You can be whatever you want to be. Yeah, which is uh, which is amazing. And uh Judy Estrin is a friend who's been so influential and um, a great mentor to me. Judy's had a phenomenal career. She started three successful companies. She was the CTO of Cisco on countless boards. And Judy is has always been a leader who cares. The um, brilliant woman, great business mind, but always had you know, really high functioning, you know, teams and really took care of, um, of her people in a way that I think was much rarer when she was building her companies. Yeah, it's, uh, it teaches us that um, whether we know it or not, we're influencing people too. Mm -hmm. And because I, I hear, I hear people saying, you know, one little thing that happened in, on the soccer team um, way back when that gave them confidence because the coach put them out simple things like that even that um, that make a difference so it's a good lesson for us to know that um we're doing the same absolutely thank you so much for sharing that oh it's my pleasure thank you for asking <laughs>